You know, I waited a while uh, before. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you guys. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I'd like to thank you and welcome you for being a uh, uh, turning on the video. Uh, I wanted to do a follow up to this story because this story really bothered me, and I'm sure like it bothered a whole lot of y'all. Um, what happened down in Memphis with Lorenzo Wright and uh, his crazy ex wife, um, Sharia? Is that what her name was? That crazy whole crazy situation. Um, we came to the conclusion that this woman had uh, some severe personality disorders. Um, and I think we we talked about that in one of the uh, prior videos. But, you know, back in July, I don't know if y'all remember, Sharia claimed that her cousin was actually the one who murdered her ex-husband. Okay? And there was a phone interview she conducted with ESPN for their E60 special on Wright's death. Sharia says she absolutely did not kill Lorenzo, nor did she play a role in his murder in July of 2010. When asked who killed him, Sharia named her cousin Jimmy Martin. The name may sound familiar because Martin is who prosecutors named as the tipster who led authorities to find the gun used in Lorenzo's murder in the lake in Mississippi back in 2018. Martin is currently incarcerated at the Hardeman County Correctional Facility for a second-degree murder. The hour-long episode called A Murder in Memphis also focuses on Lorenzo and Sharia's twin sons, Lamar and Shamar, and what they went through after their father's murder and mother's arrest, as well as college basketball players. The documentary airs... Um, Wednesday again, um, uh, and and you can catch it, I guess, on um, ESPN Sports. Uh, this was again one of the most craziest, craziest situations for those kids because by them having children, can you imagine um, and put yourself in those kids? They lost their mother and their father. Because of the mother's selfishness. Because of her inability to um, handle life without this young man who she was a considerably young. I mean, he was considerably younger than her. So she used all her feminine wiles, used all her maturity to um, get him involved with her even before he even made the pros and i think that why they knew he was a high she knew he was a high school of phenom she attached herself to him and the rest is just history start having those kids like that for him i think he gave her she gave him about four or five kids i don't know but too many um for him to have been so young it was just so much and you knew it seemed like she had an intent but that's neither here nor there the fact is, man, those kids are here now, and I often wonder, and I, you know, pray for them because that a lot of people hear the story and then that's it, but they forget that these was lies, um, you know that 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 were totally, totally affected. By her callousness and her um, craziness, there's no, you know, I know that she had all uh, the guy. Um, his his uh, in case you didn't know that his murder trial is set. Uh, that was the other young man that was involved in the case. I'm here. Um, Ready? Wait a minute. The other young man that was involved in the case. His his um. I believe his trial date is scheduled to start 
um, January 2022. January 31st, 2022. So this is an update. Memphis, uh, 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 Billy Ray Turner is his name. The man accused of murdering ex-NBA star Lorenzo Wright 10 years ago. Well, now, damn, that was 10 years ago? Wow. Will now head to trial at the beginning of, of the uh, the year. A judge Wednesday set a new trial date for January 31st, 2022. In July 2019, Wright's ex-wife Sharia Shara, Shara Wright pleaded guilty to facilitation to commit first degree murder and attempted first degree murder and uh, uh, and uh, first degree murder. The trial turner for her one-time co-defendant was postponed during the pandemic. Turner has pleaded not guilty to murder and conspiracy charges in Wright's death. Lorenz and Wright's body was found riddled with gunshot wounds in a swampy field in southeast Memphis. Wow, I mean, oh God, that was so cold. But the, and then I believe also that trial is coming up. But he also he was charged with murder of um Billy Turner, charged in Lorenzen's rights murder, sentenced to sixteen years in prison on another separate case. This case. Billy Ray Turner was charged with murder of a myth. Uh, um, in, in, in June, the 48 year old Turner agreed to plead guilty in connection to two convicted felons in possession and charge of a weapon. The plea deal for Turner's from a search warrant uh, and two guns found at Turner's home following his December 2017 arrest of Lorenz and Wright. Investigators said that the search of Turner's home in late 27, uh, 2017, I'm sorry, they found two guns, a shotgun, and a pistol. Uh, Turner's attorney said in a plea deal that he pleaded guilty to possession of that shotgun, and the state dismissed the charge linked to the pistol, which belonged to his fiancée. Federal law prohibits a convicted felon from possessing a firearm. During a plea hearing, Turner's attorney, Turner's attorney said while he accepts full responsibility for having a shotgun, his client maintains his innocence in Lorenz and Wright's murder. Lorenz and Wright was murdered in 2010 and his ex-wife, Shara Wright, and Turner were charged with a crime in 2017. Last month, though, Shara pleaded guilty to facilitation to commit first-degree murder in Wright's death, which carries a 30-year sentence. Shara Wright's guilty plea came almost nine years to the day after his body was even discovered, July 28, 2010. Shara also pleaded guilty to facilitation to commit attempted first-degree murder with an eight-year sentence. The sentence is run concurrently, so she would be eligible for parole after 30% of the sentence is served. After nine years, she would get credit for time served, um, which I, I think is horrible. Anyway, prosecutor Billy Turner still faces charges. And again, his trial is going to start in um, January of 2022. So that's just some of the latest stuff that um, I didn't uh, follow up with, excuse me, in, uh, in his uh, case. But nevertheless, it's just important. And when I find out any other information regarding this trial coming up, I will definitely keep you guys posted. Um, It was a sad thing, and it was a sad day for the NBA family, for his family, 
his children, and the people that loved him. Everybody at the University of Memphis. Um, my significant other is from Memphis, so I, I, I'm very familiar with the territory. Um, I rest in peace, though, Lorenzen. And um, Shira, Shira, Sharia, whatever your name is. I hope you are getting the mental help you need because uh, clearly uh, your personality is so disordered that you would even do something like that to that man. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to do a follow-up on that and um, hope to see you in the next video.